Today I'm going to show you this amazing trading strategy that uses this machine learning and AI based indicator that shows you the results of its win rate without even taking any trades. And not only this indicator is super useful, but you can use it to take high risk to our ratio trades without risking a lot of money. But before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to this channel as this channel is currently new and I'm trying to post consistently bringing you every week new indicators and strategies. So a subscribe to the channel would be a great way to support my work. So the indicator that we're going to discuss today is based on the Lorenzian distance classification and it is a model of machine learning algorithm capable of categorizing historical data from multiple dimensions from space. This indicator demonstrates how Lorenzian classification can also be used to predict the direction of future market, whether it will move in either bullish or bearish direction. And this indicator works very beautifully on any chart you want to use it. To access the indicator, please go towards the indicators tab and here search for the machine learning. And we want to use this indicator created by JD Horty and we want to apply it to the chart. Now that the indicator is added, let's go ahead and talk about what are the components of this indicator. First of all, let me go towards the setting and here I want to increase the thickness of this line so that you can see it a little bit better. Now this indicator consists of three main components. First of all, you can see that below these counts there are numbers and these numbers are varying from 0 to minus 6 and somewhere you'll also be seeing minus 8 or plus 8. These are the categories the model assigns to each candle. basically more positive number corresponds to more bullish sentiment in the market whereas more negative number corresponds to more bearish sentiment in the market the sequential patterns of these numbers can be used to help identify the fractals and determine true inflection points in the market the second most important thing that you can see in in the indicator is this buy and sell signal as you can see here there is this buy signal there is a sell signal again there is this buy and sell signal the intensity of the color of these buy and sell signals is based upon the, how the indicator thinks how much strong the signal is for example here you can see the signal is pretty much red so this is a strong sell signal and here you can see that this is a faded red so this means that this signal is not a very strong sell signal and similarly in the buy signal there will be some signals that are purely green but some signals that are that are a little bit transparent that would not mean that it is a very strong buy signal the last and final thing that you can see inside the indicator is this moving average line and this is an estimate based on the kernel regression using the rational quadratic kernel it serves as the additional confirmation for the model's prediction whenever it gives us buy or sell signals additionally the final thing that you can see is this trading stats table and this table is very important because it gives you the win rate of this indicator without even using this indicator for example as you can see here on the last 2000 candles the indicator has taken 53 trades and 86 percent of the times the indicator was able to generate profit and 86 percent of the times the indicator won so this is a very phenomenal way to backtest this indicator without even risking your money and this is why i love this indicator even though this indicator is pretty good but i would recommend you to use it with other confirmations so that the indicator's probability of winning the trades can be increased and the indicators that i would suggest you are the exponential moving average and the rsi indicator so to access these indicators please go to the indicator tab and here search for ema and we want to add this moving area exponential and also we want to search for larsi because this rsi is better than the normal rsi and this is created by kevinek osbiljik so we're going to add this to the chart and as you can see here the indicators are added and now let's go ahead and talk about the trading strategy of using these indicators first of all we have to go towards the ema settings and here you want to change the inputs from lengths from 9 to 200 so that it becomes a slow period ema and also inside the larsi indicator settings you want to go towards the settings tab and here you want to change the color of these lines and also you want to make them a little bit thicker so that you can see them more, more clearly onto the chart so now these settings are done let me just go ahead and change the style or the thickness of this ema line as well and now let's talk about the trading rules for taking long positions the trading rules for taking long positions are as follows first of all the ema line should be crossing this 20 level so that it shows us that the market is going to move towards the bullish momentum the second rule is that the indicator should plot a buy signal as you can see here 
and also the price action should be closing above the 200 period EMA. This would make that the overall trend in the market is in the bullish direction. So once these conditions are met, we want to take the long position and let's go ahead and add a long position at the close of this candle. And also we're gonna put the stop loss at the almost recent swing low. So we're gonna put our stop loss here and let's wait for the market to move in the bullish direction and see how this trade goes. So once the one to one ratio ratio is met for example here you can see that one to one ratio ratio is met we want to break even the trade and now let's wait for the indicator to turn from this green to red so that we can close our position so as you can see here the indicator turned from green to red on this candle here so we want to close our position at the close of this candle so our take profit during this trade would have been 2.27 which is great now let's take a look at another example for example here you can see that the EMA line is crossing above this 20 level which means that the market is going to move towards the bullish momentum and also the price action is closing above the 200 EMA and another confirmation is that there is this buy signal from the indicator so we're good to take put a long position at the close of this candle and we're going to put our stop loss at the most recent swing low and we're going to see how this trade goes and just like before when this line turns from green to red we want to close our position so this trade would also have been a profit of 1.93 reach to our ratio which is again phenomenal now let's go ahead and talk about the trading rules for taking short positions the first rule is that this ema line should be crossing this 80 level which would mean that the momentum is shifting from buyers to sellers and also the price action should be happening the, below the 200 EMA line and also there should be a sell signal from the indicator. Once these three conditions are met, we want to take the short position and we want to put our entry at the close of this count here and we want to put our stop loss at the most recent swing high and we want to wait for this line to turn from red to green and that's where we'll close our position. So as you can see, the line turns from right to green at the close of this count so we'll close our position at the close of this count and this trade is a profit of 2.3 risk to our ratio which is very good now again you want to break even your position as soon as the one to one risk to our ratio is met so that you are saved from the stop loss and you, once you follow this strategy your risk management will also improve now let's take a look at another example of taking short position here you can see that the moving average is crossing below this 80 line so which means that the momentum is shifting from buyers to sellers and also you can see here the indicator is plotting a sell signal and also the price action is happening below this 200 ema line which means that the overall trend in the market is in the bullish sentiment so we're good to take a short position we'll put our close we'll put our entry at the close of this count here and we'll put our stop loss at the most recent swing high and we want to wait for the line to turn from green to red so that we can close our position and also don't forget to break even your position once the one to one restore ratio is met and now let's wait for the line to turn from red to green so as you can see here the line turns from red to green at the close of this count so we'll put our close at the close of this count and this trade has been a profit of 3.5 for it which is again very good so i hope you are able to understand how this indicator works how the lorenzian classification can help you in your trading strategies and how the machine learning can be effective without even taking trades you are able to see the results of the trades and the indicator is basically doing the back testing for you in order to access the indicator please also check the link in the description and also don't forget to like share and subscribe see you guys in the next video thank you